welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna be repainting my lip with actual paint and I'm gonna be laying over some clear uh, flat clear over it now when I first painted this I plastic dipped it just temporarily um, and I finally just want to take it off and paint it but it's already <laughs> I feel like it's already on its last leg this uh, lip and I'm due for a new one because uh, it's been through some pretty major abuse but um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this plastic dip and then scuff it up with 320 grit sandpaper and um, yeah scuff it up a little bit make it nice and smooth that way the paint could attach to it and then uh, paint over it and if you're wondering how I actually had this on my car if you could see here, I had it uh, attached with uh, soft tapping screws. Now, if you're like me and you go to Mexico often, um, <coughs> these will actually, they'll tend to start coming off and they'll slip right off the bumper. And it has happened to me about three, four times already, which is the reason why the, the lips are in pretty bad shape. But I want to go ahead and just repaint it real quick, make it look nice and white. Because as you can see, it, it started to like peel here and there. And it's time for me to actually paint it white. Alright guys, so now I have all the plastic dip off. I'm going to go ahead and just give it a quick sand sanding. Uh, let the time people do the work I'm gonna go ahead and also remove these self tapping screws because I forgot to take these out and let me go ahead and take these out real quick and then what I'm gonna do from this point on is I'm actually gonna rivet this lip onto the bumper that way it's more of a secure hold it's really broken right here so I should buy a new lip and just use a new lip but I'm being kind of lazy right now and I'm just gonna do this for now and I you know I liked working on parts and stuff so it doesn't really matter to me alright guys so now I'm going to start sanding it and uh, using the 323 <coughs> 320 grit sandpaper that I, that I bought not too long ago sand down this whole piece right here this right here because this part of the lip shows on the bumper and uh, yeah, I'm basically just gonna paint this whole entire top of top portion uh, white. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I have the whole thing scuffed up already. I don't know if you can see those that those lines there. That's gonna help the paint stick onto the lip. I'm gonna go ahead and go get some alcohol and then spray it over or rub it on top and then let it air dry and then start painting. Alright guys, so I got some alcohol right here. for like 10 seconds and then I'm gonna go take it to the horses all right now these are called horses they're like probably 10 bucks a piece I believe at Harbor Freight or you could just go to Home Depot or any hardware store and purchase some of these but they work extremely well when it comes to painting um, in my opinion so I would pick some of these up now I have it sitting there drying due to the alcohol that I put on it now I'm gonna go ahead and start and paint it
is doing it any justice, but it looks really good. Now I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes, let it dry, and then I'm gonna hit it with uh, the clear coat on top, and then probably do I'm probably gonna do like two coats of clear, and then let it dry again, and then put it back on the car. All right, guys. So now I'm starting to rivet this thing back on. So I have one rivet right there. I'm probably gonna put another one over here somewhere. I just need to look for the hole. <laughs> uh, I don't know where they're at. It's somewhere around here. So yeah. So now the way these rivets work, if you're wondering, you'd make a hole which is about the same or a little bit bigger in diameter of the rivet. So this is a you're gonna be putting this portion into the hole and you're gonna be putting it in between the two pieces you wanna put together. So you put this inside the hole. this hole I'll go ahead and do this now as you release it'll go up and then just push it back down until you hear it kind of break off just like that the other ones or add a few more and get this put back on the car This is, this is actually the STI lip. I think it's a 2005-2006 <clears throat> STI lip. Now one question that I get asked the most is that if you have to modify this to make it fit, you actually do. It's not really big of a modification. Just make it line up like I did. Um, it's on the lining it up. And then the only modification you're gonna need is cutting the ends. It'll be about an inch on both sides, probably too long. So I use pipe cutters to cut these, or to cut the, to the ends. And then, yeah. Okay, now that I have a, this front lip back on there, I'm gonna start making the front splitter again and remaking that. So I can put it back on. <laughs> 